let's get on into some things because Winnie Harlow, Meg Thee Stallion, there was a little tuss tuss, some, some tuss tussle, maybe. I don't know. Let's let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Lauren Rosa, and at the end of the day, there's always a lot to talk about. So I am always happy. Y'all know I'm a brown girl on my grind when y'all are right here to talk with me about it. So Jason Lee over at Hollywood Unlocked, shout out to Jason Lee, had the internet in a frenzy. Okay, let me break it down for those of you guys who you're like, what is she talking about? You might not know the backstory. So Jason Lee dropped this bomb on his podcast. She got in a fight with Winnie Harlow at uh, Michael Rubin's party. I don't have all the de full details yet, and I'm waiting on the video. But I've texted Megan and Winnie, so there you go. Boom. Now, when he dropped this bomb, there was no details after. Jason was like, all right, I'm going to give you a little sprinkle of this, and then y'all going to have to tune in for the rest. The cliffhanger was crazy, bro. The, cl that, the cliffhanger was crazier than R.I.P. Monet Tejada. You fucking thought Shoot him! left like that's all that's it that's all he gonna say and i'm like what happened like what happened number one this party was so many months ago this party was back in july he dropped this i was like oh but it dropped and baby when it dropped did that month hit the floor heart okay that's hard with a t baby so i reach out and what i was told by a person that i had that was there was that it, there was an altercation of some sort. However, I was told that it wasn't a fight, that it would have gotten to that point, but there were people there in the middle of it who broke it all up. So, bam. Sometime back, Winnie Harlow posted something online. Y'all, I have checked Instagram. I have checked Twitter. I've checked and combed through Google as far as headlines, and I could not find the social media post. Uh, but my person told me, tells me that all of this started because there was a social media post uh, that Winnie posted that was in reference to Tory Lanez. Now, if you don't know, Winnie Harlow, model, fly, beautiful girl from Canada. So I was told that her post was really on some like Canada support Canada type vibe, but it was not meant to be taken as a slight at all, like at all, at all, at all to Meg Thee Stallion. But, you know, Meg Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, the, you know, the whole shooting trial, Tory's now sitting in jail, found guilty of shooting Meg Thee Stallion. Y'all know all that whole thing. So because of that, it was perceived that way. Uh, so Winnie actually ended up de uh, deleting the post. All of this is alleged by the person that I know that was in the room that has given me all this background info. Now, when the post stuff was happening, some way, somehow, Meg Thee Stallion and Winnie Harlow exchanged conversation of some sort. Some sort. Nothing too extensive, but Winnie Harlow ended up apologizing, allegedly, and uh, Meg Thee Stallion, from what I was told, allegedly left sis on red. She was like, I heard you, but I don't want to hear you. So after that, they go about their lives. And here's what, like, got me, because I'm like, they run in a lot of the same circles, y'all. L.A., y'all know I lived in L.A. for, like, the past eight years. I'm, I'm, I recently came back over here to the East Coast. LA and them circles are not that big. So I'm like surprised the way that this was, you know, described to me and the way that this allegedly went down, it was it was given Meg was on some on site. Like when I see you, what's up? But it's like, how have you not seen her since all of that stuff? That's so I was like, what? Okay. Anyway, so my person that was there alleges and tells me that so they're in the party, there's some, you know, exchange of words of some sort, and Megan is like, allegedly. I should be chess. So there's a back and forth and then everybody around them, you know, other names, other celeb names, the other people in the party instantly jump in the middle because they just want to break it up. They want to calm it down. So that's why they didn't actually get to fight. Now, like I told you guys, um, originally this story was broken by Jason Lee and the Hollywood Unlocked team. And he had said that there was supposed to be a video that was going to come and that he hadn't seen it yet. I also asked about that video, like, okay, well, is there a video coming? Do you know when it's coming? And they're like, I don't know anything about a video. Um, but, you know, we're in the age of camera phones, so anything can happen. But at the same time, you know, when you go to like a Michael Rubin all white party, that group of people, everybody's somebody. So people aren't just rushing to pull out a camera phone and post things online and all of that. So I don't know if a video will ever come. I'm looking out for it. I will say, though. I wouldn't be surprised just because of the digital age that we live in. But man, when this story broke, it was crazy to me to also to see how people begin to drag Megan behind this. Y'all act like y'all not human. Okay. And I feel like no matter 
what side you sit on, whether you think Meg Thee Stallion was shot, whether you don't think Meg Thee Stallion was shot, something happened. There was an incident of sorts. We watched Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez have to get out of a car surrounded by police with guns pulled. I just remember being at TMZ and, you know, I worked on that story personally and, and breaking that video of them getting out of that car. And I couldn't believe that I was watching Meg Thee Stallion, one of the biggest artists in the world, back into a brigade of police. Tory Lanez, one of the biggest artists in the world, lay on the ground. I couldn't believe it. So that alone is like just something that like, it's a lot. Y'all be talking about this as if she's not human. Like, sounds to me like baby girl and everybody else at the party was having a great time and she had a human moment. You know what I mean? Drinks involved, drinks not involved. She's human. She had a human moment. As the situation was addressed, it was calmed down. People went on about their business. But I was also told, too, that there were other people that got into incidents that night, too. I was told that there were uh, uh, male athletes that got into it that night as well, too. So to me, it sounds like... You know, the drinks was flowing, the drinks was mixed, the mix was mixing. It was one of them things that when it hit you later, baby, it hit you. Okay. I'm Lauren LaRosa. I'm a brown girl on my grind. Thank y'all for tuning in. At the end of the day, there's always a lot to talk about. I appreciate y'all being right here with me to talk about it. Make sure you turn your post notifications on for me at Lauren LaRosa at Brown Girl Grinding. Yeah, subscribe everywhere where you see a brown girl on her grind, period.